Someone asked, how many kids do you want to have? I'm, I know you had challenges, but you seem to be living a great life now. How did you get here? Any random obsession you have? Okay, so. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nahama, a certified life coach, and this is Realization, the perfect place for those looking to grow, live authentically, and realize their potential. Today's video is gonna be a bit different. I usually pick a life topic and we discuss it. I either give tips on it or just talk about the topic in general and give some insight and information on different ways to improve our lives. Today's video is gonna be a personal get to know me Q&A as I got some requests to do a video like this because a lot of you here on YouTube don't necessarily know me. If you follow me on Instagram at this is realization or at Nahama Music, then you might know me you know, from other places, but if this is your first time watching me or you're new here, I would love for you to get to know me a little bit better. So I actually asked you guys to send in questions and I have them right here on my phone and I'm gonna be answering a bunch right now. Okay, so we'll start off with a couple of easy ones. Where were you born and how old are you? Um, I was born in Lakewood, New Jersey and I'm still here right now, born and raised and I am 28 years old. What's your favorite holiday? So I would have to say, it's hard for me to choose. You'll probably see throughout this Q&A that I'm not so good at answering like what my favorite anything is just because I have a hard time choosing. I usually have a lot of favorites. Like I could have a top 10 list or something like that on any of these kinds of things. But my favorite holiday would probably be Hanukkah or Pesach. Both of them I love for very different reasons. Like Hanukkah is just that warm, like it's the middle of the winter and then it's freezing and it's dark and depressing. And then Hanukkah is like that warm light filled holiday that just feels like a warm hug in the winter when we really need it. So I love the family time and just that the whole vibe of it. And Pesach, I just love the extended family time and just the fact that it's a change. Like I know it's hard for people to actually make Pesach, but it's like the change of it, the eating different foods, the like change in atmosphere, I really like and appreciate. So that would probably also be my favorite. Did you go to voice lessons or are you self-taught? So for those of you who don't know me from anywhere else, I am an independent singer-songwriter. Yeah, so there are some questions a little bit about music, but basically I tried going to voice lessons once in a group, like with a couple of friends, just for fun. I think I lasted like three or four times. I, I don't even know exactly what I learned, but it was kind of just like to test out and see. It just never, it didn't end up sticking. So that was my only experience with going to any kind of voice training. So pretty much self-taught. What's your favorite place that you travel to? So I have so many favorite places again, but one of my favorite places was the first time I ever did a backpacking trip. I went to Greece with my friend Maya and it was my first introduction to like, you know, backpacking and traveling on a broader scale than just going on like a luxury few day kind of vacation. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And Greece was that first country that I went to. So it has a special place in my heart. And yeah, so I would say probably that. And then also recently my husband and I went to Guatemala together and that was my first backpacking trip with my husband. So that was also really special and my favorite in a different way. What's your biggest fear? I don't know. Tough question, tough question. Um, I honestly think that whenever I get really afraid of something or I start to like, my insecurities start to come up and, and I experience something like that, it usually relates to like success and failure. So I would say probably my biggest fear is not living up to my potential and not, you know, being successful, whatever. However I define that, I think obviously that changes over time how you define success in your own life or whether it's a work goal or a, personal goal but I think like not being successful is something that I fear a lot. Favorite movie or TV show? The top ones that impacted me a lot are August Rush, which is about music. If I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I think you should all go watch it. It's such a great movie, but music is a big theme in it and it just really resonated with me. And then there's a movie called The Peaceful Warrior. It's based on a true story, but it's supposed to be kind of like a fiction, nonfiction blend where it's the whole message of the movie is teaching you about mindfulness and about the power 
power that we have and the answers are inside of us and things like that like that movie changed my life a hundred percent so the peaceful warrior august rush those are the top two that come to mind for sure oh and tv show um hmm i would say i also have a few that are my top favorites i love gilmore girls i can watch it over and over and over year after year after year um what else do i love I'm loving Nashville. Well, I finished it, but I still want to watch it again. Parenthood is really, really good. One Tree Hill, I grew up on like in my high school years, I watched One Tree Hill and it was also very impactful for me. What else? That's pretty much it, I would say, for like my top favorites. What's something that you would tell your high school self? Okay, so probably a ton of things. One thing I guess that comes to mind is really just telling myself not to be afraid to be myself. And I know that sounds really cliche and like everybody probably wishes they could tell their younger self to just let go a little bit more. But for me, I look back to my high school years and I see how much I was afraid that who I was and what I believed in and just, just how I was wasn't right or didn't belong or couldn't be accepted and I would struggle with what the external world was looking like or feeling like or telling me to be like and instead of trusting myself now I'm at a place where if I walk into a room full of people who don't agree with me or don't act like me look like me don't have the same values as me I'm pretty secure in knowing like I'm confident in who I am but I didn't have that at that time because I was so busy looking around trying to think that everyone is supposed to accept me and not going into you know that quote that's like I used to walk into a room and wonder if everybody liked me now I walk into a room and wonder if I like them so not to be that, I think that's a little bit of like an arrogant quote, but the kind of message that it's giving over, which is like being secure and confident in who you are is something that takes time to grow. And I wish that I could have told my high school self just not to suffer so much through other people's opinions or judgments and just to be myself more. How long were you married for? We got married in November, 2019. So basically it's been a year and a half since. What got you into singing? So. I'm not sure if that means what got you into singing professionally or what got you into singing just in general, but basically I've always loved singing. I connected to singing and to music since I was a baby. And yeah, I just, as I grew up, I realized that I have something to say and I have something to share and I didn't really see people around me doing it. And I was wondering why people aren't, you know, going for their dreams and using their voice to express themselves, especially in our community. So I decided I'm gonna make it my mission to do so. And yeah, so that's what got me into singing in terms of professionally putting myself out there. Speaking of, how did you meet and become friends with Shandel and Tellis? So I was actually recording my album. I had met her brother who was my producer. We were working on the album together without me even realizing I'm not sure if I realized before I was working with him that they were related, but either way, once I was working with him on my album and I was actually in the middle of recording the song Heartbeat, which was my first single, he surprised me by having her come to the studio in the middle of my recording session and meeting me and we've bonded and became friends ever since and I love her dearly. Again on that note, when are you releasing some more music? So I don't have any specific timeline or date for you at all, so I apologize for that, but I can tell you that it's been a lot on my mind. I've been writing a lot lately and I definitely have plans to start working on a bunch of new things really, really soon. So. I'm excited to start doing that and then to start bringing you along on the process and I will let you know as soon as I have any concrete information. Have you studied therapy or psychology professionally? So yes, I recently graduated in December of 2020 with my bachelor's in psychology. I did not yet go for my master's or PhD, so I am not qualified or licensed to do therapy, but I do have that bachelor's that can springboard me you know, into something like that if I choose to. Right now I'm currently certified as a life coach and I've been taking life coaching clients and started this whole YouTube channel. So that's really been exciting for me and felt a little bit more like my calling at least for now. What's your daily schedule like? So as a lot of you know, if you do know me, um, I'm always doing a million things. That's just my personality. I love to be involved in a variety of different things and just be busy with a bunch of different things that I'm passionate about and that are meaningful to me. So my schedule right now, which is new for me, I basically started a part-time job recently and I've been doing that basically two hours a day, Monday through Thursday. I do work at Shalva High School here in Lakewood. 
on Fridays and I've been working there for four years now and I absolutely love it. It literally does not feel like work to me. I used to give guitar lessons but I faded that out a little bit because I didn't want to be so busy at nights when I just want to spend time with my husband and take care of other things. And I also do music on the side. When gigs come up that really speak to me, I love to do those. And hopefully I'm going to be working on new music soon so I'm always, I always have my hands in a bunch of different things. My daily schedule fluctuates a little bit but those are the few solid things and again because I started this life coaching business I am working with a couple of clients and I record these YouTube videos for you guys so again I have my hands in a bunch of different things that I really care about. So I kind of answered these a little bit. Why did you become a life coach? I kind of covered and when did you get married? I covered and how did I meet? I actually met my husband at a Jewish music festival called Sababa Fest and I'm, I performed there for, I did a women's only performance and it was obviously the most amazing thing I ever did because I met my husband through it and it was just such a beautiful weekend and experience for me. So I have such fond memories and yeah, that's basically how we met and it was the perfect love story. What's a small thing that makes you feel like you have your life together and when it's not in place, everything is a mess? So I love this question. I think it's brilliant. I, I feel like we all have those things and it's hard for me to even think of one off the bat, but right now as I'm sitting here in my living room area, it's, it's quite a mess and I think that makes me feel a little bit unsettled and usually even if this room is clean, even if my bedroom's not clean, the kitchen's not clean, like life is flying, usually if this entrance area where you come in, there's like the living room, dining room, you know, one large room, if that is like neat and clean and I have flowers and a vase right over there, it just, I'll insert a clip right here, um, that just makes me feel, yeah, I guess like my life is together and things are, things are going well. This is an interesting question because I'm not really sure what this person meant and where this person specifically is coming from, but she asked, how or why do you choose to dress the way you do? I'm not sure if this is coming from someone, you know, a religious Jew who is asking in terms of modesty or just like style wise. So I don't know, I'm just gonna choose to say in terms of modesty purposes that I researched the laws of Tznias, which is basically the Jewish modesty laws. And I came to a really good understanding of what the real requirements are and what I'm comfortable with doing and just how to dress in a way that feels me, that feels authentic to me and that conforms with my ideals and values. Something that I do for fun, I am obsessed with YouTube, which funny enough, I'm making YouTube videos now and it's something that I always thought one day at one point I'm gonna be doing just because I love YouTube so much. I watch so many vloggers and lifestyle channels and just inspirational, motivational kind of videos like the ones I make, hopefully. That's what I try to do. So that's one of my guilty pleasures, things that takes me time, like I sit on the couch and I eat a snack or have a coffee and I watch like 10 YouTube videos. Like that's my thing. That's one of the things I do for fun. Of course, there are other things. I love outdoor nature things. I love camping and hiking and hanging out with my friends, playing guitar, you know, all those kinds of things. But YouTube is a big thing. What's your favorite song lyric and why? Okay, two are coming to mind right now, but there's so many because you know the kind of thing it's like you're listening to a song and you're like, oh wow, that is my favorite line. And then you're listening to another song two days later and then you say that's my favorite line. So again, with favorites, it's hard to choose. But two, two that are coming to mind. One, I was listening to this morning um, by Imagine Dragons. The song Believer, it says, pain, you made me a believer. And I know it sounds so simple, but the whole song and that line is just about how pain really teaches you to believe and to end up becoming more than you ever thought you could be. And that's, I made a whole video about how to find the purpose in the pain. I'll link it right up here. And it just resonates with me a lot. And then the other thing I thought of was a Taylor Swift song. I can't remember the name of the song, but the line goes, I could build a castle out of all the bricks you threw at me. And I think that's a really powerful line and really good imagery where you're basically saying that I can take the negativity or the insults or the criticism of other people and use it to build my castle, to strengthen who I am and to build something beautiful out of myself and my life. Not despite what other people People say and despite you know the people that try to bring me down but because of it and I think that's really powerful any random obsession you have okay 
so probably a bunch but one thing that comes to mind is identical twins and please don't think i'm creepy but basically identical twins make me so happy if i see them if i hear about a story about identical twins i just think they're so fascinating the fact that two people look so alike and i just think it's so adorable and i always wanted to have twins of my own even though people say it's so hard but yeah if i see twins i see a picture of twins i'm just like oh my gosh like i i i freak out i love 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 twins so that's definitely a random obsession of mine and then speaking of someone asked how many kids do you want to have I'm not really sure. I think it's the kind of thing that based on how life is going at that point, I would love to be blessed with having children and see what makes sense along the way and of course what God gives me. I know you had challenges, but you seem to be living a great life now. How did you get here? This is someone that a lot of like my followers I have a really, you know, deep relationship with and this is one of the followers that DMs me a lot and we have really great conversations. So we've talked about a lot of things and thank God, I feel like I am living a great life now. Of course, there are things that I'm struggling with. There are things that are hard for me. And maybe in a few years down the line, I can talk about those. But in terms of where I've come from and where I am now, it's a story for another time. But as a whole, I feel like the acceptance of the pain, which again, I talked about in that video, finding the purpose in the pain. I think acceptance that life is painful and it's okay. And that I will not break because of it and I'll find my strength and my power from it and also going back to what I would tell my high school self which is basically to accept myself and love myself and really use the differences or the perceived differences that I have of myself or that others have of me and use that as a beautiful way to impact the world and to do great things and to just love who I am in this life and that self-love and self-acceptance and self-confidence are probably the things that I've grown in the most over the past few years and have changed my attitude towards life and just my ability to go through life stronger and happier. Someone asked, what do you love about teaching at Shalva High School? I love so much about it, but I think I love the fact that I get to learn so much in order to teach and that I learn so much as I'm teaching from my students and just the environment that Shalva has is just so loving and warm and open and accepting and I just wish I had a school like that when I was younger. So there's just so so much I love about it and I feel like every single time I'm walking into a place of love and acceptance and of learning and growing and it just has the best energy. How tall are you? I am five one and a quarter to be exact and yes that quarter matters. Short girls, I'm sure you feel me. Where would you live if not Lakewood? So that's a great question because I don't know the answer to that either, but I do know some place out of town in America or Israel. Basically, those are kind of the options that we're thinking about and looking into because Lakewood is not a place that I wanna build my future life. There's a lot of things that I've come to love about it and I'm okay to be here now, but my husband and I both are on the same page of not wanting to build our life and raise children here. So it's exciting to not really know because it's the kind of thing Thing that it's like I know we're not gonna live here but who knows where we're gonna be but it's exciting and when we make plans and when we start to move forward I will definitely fill you guys in. What schools did I go to? I went to Base Vega Elementary School and Base Kayla High School. There's a couple similar questions here and I think I'm gonna end on this one. What makes you smile all the time? So sweet. I don't think I smile all the time but it's nice that that's what it looks like and um, someone wrote you always look genuinely happy. How? Whew, that's a tall order. So again, I don't think that I'm always happy, definitely not constantly happy, but I think the way I've learned to define happiness, I guess is what keeps me smiling and keeps me happy, which is basically the idea that happiness is not something tangible or some kind of destination. It's really all about the journey, as typical as that sounds. It's about the joy of expanding ourselves and growing and learning and becoming more of who we are and all the little things in life, all the things that I have that I can be so grateful for, and even the pain that I've been through, honestly, especially the pain and different challenges that I've been through, make me so happy because I'm here on the other side of it, or I'm here on the other side of those specific ones going through other challenges, knowing that 
they're only going to give me these beautiful gifts of experience and of depth once I get through them. And so happiness is really not something to wait for. It's something to create on a daily basis to just find that self-love and acceptance and joy in growing and knowing that happiness in life doesn't come from things. It doesn't come from getting to certain goals. It comes from the way we get there every day that we wake up and we choose to find the joy in everything that we do and everything that we have. So that is it for my get to know me personal Q&A. I hope that this helped you get to know me better and feel like we bonded because it was a pleasure for me to share this with you and to open up. So thanks for giving me this opportunity. And I just hope that it gives you more insight into when I'm sitting down and I'm speaking about a certain topic, you feel like you understand where I'm coming from a little bit better. And I would love to get to know you. So please let me know in the comments where you're from, what your passions are, just anything you wanna share about yourself. I would really really love to hear it again video suggestions are always welcome please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it again leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos and you are officially part of our realization community with that said i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye guys